didn't say there would be more stories, but surprise, there's more. Why don't I share some with you? Lots of Zuna kids know that I don't even have many words for I mean, it's kind of weird, but not weird at the same time. I don't know how to describe him, to be honest. But I do have a few stories about him. I used to call him the sun god when we first met. Mainly because he looked like one. I mean, come on. He, he, he always had his hair up. He had yellow stripes. Well, some. On, on some. I have no idea what they're called. And then he had a yellow freaking diamond shaped thing on his forehead. And I'm thinking, yeah, he kind of looks like a sun god. I'm gonna call him that. What's the sun god? Sounds nice. So I call him that. Makes him angry. I like him when I get to make him angry. <laughs> I think it's quite fun. I'm a menace. I know. There is one story, truly, about him, though. Um, when we first met, he was actually guarding a gem. I don't know what it was, it was called. I'd have to look into that. But I was there. I was looking. Since the gems, they were beautiful. They really were. One was a nice jade green. before he came. He scared me, saying like, hey, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm looking. Can I not look? He's saying I couldn't because it was something so important that not many peers should look at. And I kept giving him smug replies, saying I'm just as important was it? Oh yeah! Even jewels could find something like this and you telling me that this is more important than her? Which was a mistake because he never knew jewels. Why was I saying gems? <laughs> oh, maybe I'll save that for another episode. But yeah, jewels. And he got mad. So... He had gotten me off of where I was at and made me leave. I came back every other day though. Usually when he wasn't watching. Because I am sneaky. So he doesn't notice. After a while, he kind of got used to me doing that. Just coming over and just admiring the gems. And sometimes he's actually, he actually would come by me to talk. To get to know me or something. And I'm trying my best to get to know him too. I'd say, those were fun times. We actually became friends and I actually allowed him to come to my place a few times. I'd make him like welcome cookies or little gifts of food that you can bring home. Boy, did he love those. He liked my, um, blueberry cookies the most. I don't know why. I thought, honestly, I hated making those. But, as long as he likes them, I'm fine. I don't mind making them. Well, as long as you're not for me. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't remember many stories with him. There isn't much to talk about sad, because I thought there was a lot more I could talk about him. Oh wait, there's one. He kind of, it's kind of like he's our father figure in a way, with me and Spark. Because he would never allow us to go out and do secret crime. I'm not sure how he found out that we do that. Since he's around. I 
don't know how, but both Spark and Blitz came to Mobius. I'm not sure how they did. Maybe Mocha taught them. Hmm, I'd have to ask. Maybe I'll call them. Not now though, maybe later. I... I guess that's it. I'll try to whip up some more stories for you guys. It seems like you really like them. Well, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Later. <laughs>